Morning, Sag. How you doing? It's Dharma here to do a weekly for you. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Cross Watchers. Anybody who is drawn to this, um, if there's an extended, the link for that is going to be in the box below. Take you to Vimeo, or you can join the membership side of this channel and get all the extended, plus the yoga and the guided meditations and everything else that we do over there. All right. What do we have coming in for Sag, please? This is the good tarot. <laughs> Patience and temptation. Hmm. 14 and 15. So, there's these two. All right. One could have Sagittarius in their chart, one could have Capricorn in their chart, but I'm looking more at the imagery. Someone here is, on this end, they have taken a bite out of the apple. They might be really focused on money and growing abundance and things like that. And they are, it doesn't look like they're happy like they are almost ill. And this one over here, Patience, she has, it's like her heart is ticking like a clock. She might have anxiety so bad she can feel it in her chest because the Patience is terrorizing her. <laughs> But they're both looking down. They're both looking away from each other. There is... It feels like it's like tension so thick you could slice it with a knife. Honestly. And one is... Temptation is also the devil. It's like, a, it's like an obsession type feeling. Like I can't stop feeling this and this one over here she's trying very very hard to temper the situation and all it's doing is creating hard stuff so then we have a peacemaker in the middle there's someone here who can see this they might have really, really, really blue eyes. They could be older. But they look up and they see that these two are not looking at each other. And they're like, hmm. And then it feels like, why don't you... Why don't you offer them something? Like, why don't you offer them something? This is the king of rods, and he's coming forward with a heart. It's like, why don't you offer them something other than the rod? And it does. She does look up a little. She goes from looking totally down to... <laughs> looking up a little why don't you offer them something better why don't you offer them something more and you could go from total ending to total happiness if you were just a little bit more balanced in some of the stuff you do this feels like a friend who is seeing that these two are I don't know, longing for each other, pining, just, like, just being ridiculous. This is like these two people, like everybody in the world knows that these two belong together except for these two. And this one here is getting tired of listening to both of them whine about it. <laughs> See, they're like, go back. Return. Go cycle back around. It's a big mess. But it also says here, work it out. 
go work it out with them. Just go make it better. And it's like, I don't know what it is that they offer. It's a mother load, prosperity, jackpot, success, good fortune. <laughs> then Saggy really looks up. It might take three different offers to get this one to stop looking down. I don't know. She might be mad. Or just non... I don't know. Non... Uh, not interested. She's temperance. She wants. I don't. Uh, I don't want to say she wants things to be perfect, but in order to make her even look up, it needs to be tempered. That's for sure. And it's time for that to happen. And she's. That's why she's patient. She's like, it'll happen eventually. I'm not really worried about it. And this one is like. within a few weeks. Maybe this has been going on for a few weeks. The chariot. Why don't you just say something to her? It's like, it's like <laughs> this friend of yours who's playing the magician is like, what is your problem? And this guy is like, she doesn't even like me. And they're like, what is your problem? She's obsessed with you. And they're like, nah. And they're like, well, she won't talk to me or she won't this or won't that. And they're like, well, why don't you try offering something besides the rod and see what happens? Because she can wait. She's not whatever. And this masculine's like, well, I am a stallion. Italian stallion. I'm sexually motivated. What else am I supposed to fucking offer? They're like, I don't know. How about flowers? And 50-50, they're like, you're going to have to just shoot your shot. It could go either way at this time. It could. And that is your own problem. <laughs> <coughs> what happened here? What happened to these two? What did they do? They used to be in tandem. They were the dynamic duo. Simpatico. They just were... You know, it works well. Bird cage. But it was, um, it wasn't, it was like codependent, I guess. Possessive, codependent, clingy, restless, oblivious, controlling, without consent, watched, hostage, confined, jealous, trapped, predator. It could have been like a love bombing situation and then somebody was like, nope, that's not tempered, I don't like that. And then, so this masculine is like, okay, so it could be an, an admittance of some kind of defeat, I guess. Yeah, I fucked up. I was temptation, the devil, whatever devil energy is for you, because she pulls the yoga card and temperance, and this person pulls the devil and sexually motivated and stringing along and all of that. What is this person's? Like, why did I just heard they're a good friend? I was going to be like, what kind of... They just want everybody... They're a peacekeeper. They just want everybody to get along. 
They want to gather with friends and family. They don't like it when their friends are not. This is kind of a sacrificial person. They do things for the greater good. That's just what they do. Plus they're older. This person is just a leader. He's like they... He just knows better. Alright. So this over here is the different plan. We're going from Ten of Swords to Ten of Cups because they're going to do something differently somehow. The <laughs> thunderstorm. They're going to shift the energy. And this is the opportunity to overcome and it comes with roses. Love, romance, affection, appreciation, devotion, gifts. It just feels like, what if I just tried treating this person really well? What if I tried that? The biker. And this is not someone who normally would do that. They're kind of a lone wolf. They're kind of a, a maverick. But they want the recognition of this one. She won't even look up. She's temperance and she's calm. I think I got that in Libra's reading too about people seeking calmness. And she's like, if it's not calm and tempered, then fucking step. And a stallion isn't typically calm and tempered. There are wild, strong emotions, sexual energy, unbridled, and they have nothing but pure drive. But this person knows that they're a soulmate in one way or another, so they just pop up. And it's not like just pop up. They have to have their little convert. They have to have their pep talk from their buddies first. On Kara, shut the front door. <laughs> Oh, whoever this biker lone wolf character is, all right, they could have a really great beard. They're just really hard around the edges, but they feel very, 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 very strongly for this one. And she, she, you can't really get her to budge. And so these two conspire to get this one here to look up somehow. All right, let's see what happens. The link for the extended is going to be in the box below, or you can join the membership side of this channel and join us for all of the other fun shenanigans around town. Till next time, bye.